So now that we want to start being more intelligent when we join, we need to have more information when we join. So what we're going to do is instead of just sending a nickname in the future, we're going to pass a nickname and maybe also a unique identifier to the actual backend from the front end. So let's just start preparing for that. So the first thing I'll do is I'll jump down to the backend. And what I want to do here is I want to change that we right here have a subscribe message for sending a nickname now. I want to call that join chat instead because it's going to be a bit more intelligent than just sending a nickname in the future. When that is done, I'm going to change down here as well and call the handle join chat instead of just join uh, instead of just nickname again, just to be more precise that this is going to be joining the chat event, right? The next thing I want to do instead of the message body right here, only sending the nickname. So whenever I need to join right now, I'm just sending a nickname. I want to be able to actually send a chat client. Now we can choose to use the chat client we have down here, the one that we have in the infrastructure. We can also choose to use the one we have in the core. This one is for the database, so we should not choose that one. And this one is actually for our core, so we shouldn't actually use that one either. We should make a new one that's for data transfer. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to create a new file right here. It's going to be called chat client dto ts now maybe this is overkill right now but later when we start having login we have password we have stuff like that it'll make more sense to be able to send these as dtos whenever we need to transfer data from the front end to the back end so we'll make this dto right here we'll add it there we go now we have the dto now for now let's just make it as simple as the actual client model so I'm going to just get everything right here, except for one thing. And that is, I don't want the typing in here because when I join, I don't care if I'm typing or not. And I also want the name to be chat client DTO instead of just chat client. So now we have this one available, meaning that now we can actually send a chat client DTO from the front end to the back end that has an ID right now and a nickname, which is the two things I need in order to identify if this guy has joined already or if he's a new user. Sweet. Now we'll use that chat client DTO right here. We'll use that inside our gateway. And what we'll do actually is instead of the message body in the future, when we want to join the chat is only the nickname. It's actually going to be a chat client DTO right here. That's what we're going to pass over from the front end. And of course, we're also going to change it right here to be of the type chat client DTO. There we go. Now this chat client DTO right here needs now to be sent to the add client method. We can do a few things right here as well. We can choose either we're going to actually just pass the entire DTO into the model right here, but that would be again pretty bad design if we want to kind of uphold our layering, our architecture. Instead, what we actually need to do, and this is where it's kind of pricey to use DTOs and convert back and forth, but let's just do it for now. What we're going to do is actually we're going to right here make a let chat client. And this is going to be the chat client that we are going to later on use right here throughout our code. Now that chat client is going to be equal right now. And then we're going to use the JSON parser again, JSON pass, send in the chat client DTO. So we'll use the JSON stringify. There we go. And then we'll pass in that chat client DTO and then we'll convert him back. So what we're actually doing right here is we are converting the DTO into a chat client. And in order to make that more clear, let's just explain that this is going to be a chat client like this. So what we're doing is we're taking the DTO object again that right now it's the exact same thing pretty much. But later on, this will change. Maybe there'll be passwords in here. Maybe there'll be stuff we don't want to share with other people compared to what we have in our client compared to what we save in our database. So we're going to do this small pass right here and convert it from being a chat client DTO into an actual chat client right here. And we'll take that chat client and we'll send that into our ad client right here. There we go. Now the ad client, of course, doesn't expect to get a chat client right now. It expects to get an ID and a nickname. So we could get the ID like this and the nickname, but instead we're going to change the signature right here of our interface and of our service. Let's go down to the interface. I now I'm going to change this so that instead of sending in that information, it's going to send in a chat client like this of the type chat client. Now, when I change this, of course, whoever actually uses the interface, which in my case is the chat service needs to be changed as well. So here, when we have the ad client, we need to change that into chat client as well of the type chat client. 
There we go. So now we are passing in a chat client when we want to add the client. And that means we can do something a lot better than what we're doing right here. We can actually start looking up that chat client instead of just trying to recreate him like this. So that's what we're going to try and do next. Now, if we get in a chat client, the first thing we can do is, of course, we can figure out if the chat client is already in the database. So we'll start by making just a constant chat client. And let's just say chat client found by ID, just to make it very, very easy to read what we're trying to do right here. And I'll just kind of steal this code right here. There we go. I'll do a small change where I change this into looking for the ID. And then I'll say chat client.id. So if I find the chat client using that ID, I know that I actually found him in the database and I can just return him. So I'll say if chat client found by ID like this, if that is the case, if there's actually something in there, I'll just return. And again, I have to convert again. Well, maybe we'll have to make some kind of parser somewhere because this is just getting annoying that we have to do it all the time. Um, but we'll make that later. It's it's okay for now. And then what we'll do is we'll say chat client find by ID will be passed into being a chat client. Again, remember what we get back right here is actually not a chat client. It's actually a client. Okay. So again, you have to kind of get used to the differences between of the entities in the database, the model that we have in our core of our system. And the final thing is the gateway that uses the DTOs to send data back and forth between the front end and the back end. Those are three different ways to represent your data. So that's why we're changing it right here. Sweet. If we do not find it in the database, it must mean that it's a new user. So the first thing we'll do is we'll make another check right here. We'll make another const and we'll say chat client found by nickname. Because if it it's found by the nickname, we have a new problem. The problem is that the nickname is already taken, right? So that shouldn't be allowed. So what we'll do is we'll say if the nickname is the same as the chat client's nickname, meaning there's a nickname from the outside, then we are actually we found a client and we have to throw the exception like we did before saying if chat client found by nickname, then we want to actually return uh, an exception. And actually, let's just go we have it all the way down here. We just throw this exception nickname already used like we did before. There we go. So now we have the second thing that can happen. And the final thing we need to do is, of course, if everything goes well, well, we just need to create the client and return him like we did earlier on. So let's just get rid of all of this now and keep the rest of it. So the final thing that can happen is we create the client, we go and get the nickname from the chat client. There we go. And we go and put that into the client. We await the creation and the save of the client. And then we pass him into a chat client. Let's just call him new chat client right here. Like this. So we can see there's a difference between this chat client and the one we're passing in from the outside. And then we'll push him to the local list and return him to whoever needs it. And that's the changes we had to do. Now we actually use the chat clients ID and we can actually pass that from the outside using this new join chat service. And that one we're going to use in the next lesson to update our UI. So it starts working with this guy instead of the old one that we used before. So let's end the lesson right here. And hopefully everything is still running. You can just go and check your server. If it's green here, we should be happy for now. And next lesson, we'll check out the UI. Have fun. Bye.